It's the dawn of a new era with the first AI operating system, Kaba AI. And this isn't just another operating system with a few AI features sprinkled in. This is a revolutionary way to interact with your devices and data, crafted to fit your personal style and preferences using the mighty power of AI. Exciting? You bet it is. So let's talk about it. I'm sure most of you are familiar with operating systems or OS and what they are. So essentially, OS takes care of all the behind the scenes work, managing the hardware resources like the CPU, memory, and disk space. It's the artist behind the desktop, icons, and menus that you see and use every day. And, of course, it's the stage manager that ensures all your favorite applications like browsers, games, and productivity tools run smoothly. Think of the ones you use daily, such as Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS. But now, what sets Kaba AI apart from all these other operating systems is that Kaba doesn't merely sit atop your hardware, but actually intertwines with it, like a symbiotic relationship, learning from your behavior, adapting to your needs, and growing with you. Unlike any other OS that expects you to adapt to it, Kaba AI turns the table. It's more than just an operating system. It actually creates an immersive and unique computing environment tailored just for you. You see, Kaba AI is designed around artificial intelligence, not just as a supplementary feature, but as the core of its being. Imagine your device could analyze all your data, your likes and dislikes, the way you work, and even your goals. This AI system actually does that. It then takes that understanding and presents everything, whether it's text, images, or videos, in the way that's best for you. It even helps to enhance your performance, security, privacy, and overall productivity. Now, one of the things that really stands out about Kaba AI is its polymorphic operating system. It's like it can shapeshift depending on what you need. Like, if you're working on a spreadsheet, it provides a traditional desktop environment. But when you need to get creative, it transforms into an immersive computing space filled with the information and tools you need. What's even more exciting is that you can interact with this environment using voice commands, gestures, or even eye movements. If you have a VR headset or a holographic display, the experience becomes even more engaging and thrilling. And it doesn't stop there. It also has this hybrid system that lets it either boot directly from the hardware or run atop other existing systems. Think of it as having the best of both worlds. You can have Kaba AI as your main operating system, or run it alongside another. And you can switch between these two systems without losing any data or settings. Of course, in this day and age, you might be worried about privacy and security, and rightly so. But this AI system lets you divide your data between different parts of your device or even in the cloud. You can encrypt it or use biometrics to make it even more secure. And of course, it respects your privacy and won't share your personal information without your permission. Now, let's move on to something we all can relate to. The annoyance of switching devices and losing all those carefully tailored settings. Kaba AI has figured out a way around this, introducing something known as DDNA or digital DNA. Picture it like a personal signature that carries all the things that make your digital world uniquely yours. Data, preferences, even your history. With DDNA, you can carry all these personalized settings across various devices and platforms. If you lose something, your DDNA can help you find older versions or even restore them. The creators of this AI operating system recognized a gap between what AI can do and what current operating systems were offering. They saw that existing systems were too rigid or too complicated to really allow people to get the most out of AI. Worse, they noticed that many companies seemed more interested in using user data to make money rather than to empower people. To be honest, I'm thrilled about Kaba AI, because this isn't just another product on the market, it's the future of computing. So, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. Feel free to share. And if you enjoyed our discussion today, consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.